I just have to go to hold up. listen to this and what we're gonna talk about it. i'm also gonna probably comment or laugh at my stupidity in this like or i don't know whatever hello Just feel free by the way at any time to pause and, and like if you want to talk about it because gotcha. that's what i'm trying to kind of get working okay. here is a conversation about this welcome to the first episode of the brgk podcast my name is adam mattaway hi i'm daniel uh and I'm Chris, a.k.a. Dante, a.k.a. the guy who's probably banged your mom. Um, we're going to be talking about step two of how to beat Booster Riding God King, which is a continuation of the previous podcast. Oh, am I retarded? I mean, am I stupid? Episode, ah, here we go. Oh, here it is. My bad. YouTube, SoundCloud, uh, Spotify, and Apple. I think those four are fine. I don't think anything else is necessary. What do we plan on labeling the podcast? BRGK podcast? I don't know. That seems good enough. This is why I was thinking we could run it for a couple of weeks and then figure out what you're going to do. What do you mean run it? Right, we just talk. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm, I'm saying. I'm, like, I'm here to talk. That's been my whole point. Right? I'm, yeah. I'm just here for like the whole... Yeah, Chris, that's are you hosting? Good. What? Are you hosting? Am I hosting what? Let's say, who, who's the first person who talks on the podcast? All three of us yeah. are hosts. We're, we're all hosts is the problem. So. Who's introducing the podcast? Who's like, okay, welcome to... Well, uh, I Chris, guess I'll introduce yeah, it. Chris sure. can do it. We can also take turns. It doesn't matter. Yeah, that's, that's a little bit irrelevant. But yeah, for, I guess... Like, let's say, let's say for example, it. let's say the guest we're bringing on is my guest. Then I can introduce it. Exactly, that's correct. Yeah. I think that's... Or if the subject, if the the subject is about me, or, yeah. then I'll introduce it, right? Okay. But in this case, since it's about the path, Chris will introduce it because he started the path. Right. Sounds good. So, so welcome to the prequel of uh, our podcast. Um, I guess I'll start with where I'm from and wait, my birth. Wait, hold on. Uh, since you're saying this is the prequel, uh, let's record this as like a trial for the actual origin story episode. I was literally just thinking of having it be the origin story. You run the free raw. form into it? Exactly. Uh, what I mean is like, this, this is complete. Raw. Yes. Like literally, because let me put it this way. Anybody that ends up listening to this podcast later is first going to be like, who are these fucktards and what is going on? <laughs> but they're going to end up hearing us slowly form the podcast. You get me? It's, it's like, right. it's like that one God that right, they're getting to know people us. out of clay, right? Like, yeah, they're, they're getting to know us and they're seeing how three people who have no idea what the hell they're doing because this is the first time we're ever trying to do a podcast literally make the podcast as we go right all right so, so we're leaving this in the cut exactly <laughs> <laughs> so okay so we basically just bullshitted our way through the beginning of this and we, we're using something called craig to record off of this board. none of us are even remotely close to each other right now and we decided to have this podcast because we want to get our voices out there and Honestly, O'Connor's soup is in here just because he I know he loves to talk and he wants to discuss and he likes the intellectual part of the podcast. That's why he's here from my perspective. Um, we might as well name this podcast Big Brain Boys. Yeah. <laughs> Do we want to go by nicknames or like, No, let's go Adam Uh let's go by first names. Uh but yeah. Dante or Chris? Ah, whatever, just leave me as Chris. I don't really give a fuck. Right. So okay. <laughs> Um, I really don't care. It's just, my, it's just, it's, it, it's too little information, I think. So, okay. Um, I, I'm, for m my purposes, this podcast is to hopefully help people who end up listening to it later, just get a better idea of their thoughts and their path in life. And hopefully a lot of people that are out there that are lost who end up listening to at least the origin story part of this podcast, where we talk about the path of the Booster Riding God King and... Hopefully, they kind of find themselves and start living a happier, stress-free life. Um, so, I'm just going to go ahead and explain a little bit about my background in a well, TLDR format. But I mean, before, before you do that, that just, yeah, go ahead. you gave me an idea. You not only... The podcast are, format, whatever, you can listen to that some other time. But, yeah. Let me yeah, try those things out, like, podcast. Podcast. Felon. Um, yeah, exactly. and, and so, from there... 
we just had more and more conversations and then you know now fantastic family and it's not now uh, I, I and it's also the reason why i'm on the podcast sweet all right then, thank <laughs> you um i was born in holland all right it's a sprawling city you aren't and like chris said i hope like we're we're gonna be here to hopefully experience before yeah, what's up, my reflection? and wow this is really idolizing chris but uh that's not where i'm without a religion you know? not know I think that's the only thing I fix that and look back on yeah. my life and try and see those those things that keep happening or keep coming up that i can attribute to habit and maybe character you know and before chris Chill, we're, lis- me, we're I'm- listening to this podcast right now this old podcast of mine and, and i'm gonna try to talk about it as i catch things that are interesting i'm not a, i'm not a bad guy <clears throat> if my opinion well, let changed me, let me disparage you a little bit too um, actually, the wrong, that's the wrong word. I, I think this is more playing a little bit of devil's advocate. You said, um, I think specifically you said something along the lines of uh, you're no one in particular uh, or some, or like you rather, or you, you know, no, 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 no. I remember, I remember what you said. You said, uh, I don't really care about. Oh, stupid question. Yeah. Stupid right. question. Yeah. Um, and I think that's wrong. You know, you that's the only thing you, sh- you should care about is becoming who you are and realizing who you are. And like we Chris out. said, I we felt out. like we're, we're going to be here we to out. hopefully help form that mold, which you can. Yeah. And at, nice. from a learning experience of my own, you know, Chris helped, you know, show me my mold, mm. but you yourself have to fit into it. I think for, for me, what I'm writing that down. I'm writing yeah. that down. You, you would you like you can go ahead and speak speak to these people tell them something if you have something to think about that oh, oh i can hear it um that's it or replay it for you here you pause when you when you feel the vibes you are and like chris said something along the line and see those those things that keep happening or keep coming up that i can attribute to habit and maybe character you know and before chris disparages me i'm not a, i'm not a bad guy all right well let me let me disparage you a little bit too um, actually, the wrong that's the wrong word. I, I think this is more playing a little bit of devil's advocate. You said, um, I think specifically you said something along the lines of, uh, you're no one in particular, uh, or some, or like you rather, or you, you know, no, 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 I remember, I remember what you said. You said, uh, I don't really care about. Oh, stupid question. Right. Yeah. Stupid right. question. Yeah. Um, and I think that's wrong. You know, you that's the only thing you, sh- you should care about is becoming who you are and realizing who you are. And like Chris I said, I hope like we're, we're going to be here to hopefully help form that mold, which you can. And, and at, from a learning experience of my own, you know, Chris helped, you know, show me my mold, mm. but you yourself have to fit into it. I think for, for me, what maybe I was getting it. I'm not 100 percent sure. Right? Like time. Chris said, I hope like we're we're gonna be here to hopefully help form that mold, which you can uh, Yeah, stupid right. question. Yeah. Um and I think that's wrong. Yeah. You know, you that's the only thing you sh- you should care about is becoming who you are and realizing who you are. And like Chris said, I hope like we're we're gonna be here to hopefully help form that mold, which you can and, and at, from a learning experience of my own, you know, Chris helped you know, show me my mold, mm. but you yourself have to fit into it. I think for for me, what maybe I was getting it. I'm not a hundred percent sure, right? There, I don't know why I really said it, but I said it. Defending it, <laughs> I would say that it. I don't really care about who I end up being as long as I am that person. Uh, like, I'm not that, sure that how I would describe it. No, no, no. I, I got it. That makes right. a lot of sense. Is that right now he does not know I don't know what I'm not know where he yeah exactly and he 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 doesn't have a name for it like for example for me I said my purpose is to help people I didn't define it as who I am I didn't say like oh I'm a prophet or something because I guess I could put that term on it because I I I want to preach and help people like I'm kind of like a priest without a religion you know if I were Um, to go down that route it would be that my my purpose right now is to analyze really how people build their purpose that that would be the largest thing that i think i'm focusing on right now yeah um 
So now me, as someone who knows Danny, um, I would say that, especially recently, he's kind of a, a philosopher. Like, honestly, like, that's how I would describe him. Like, he's a philosopher in the sense that he's very good at analyzing thought. So he's open-minded. And, and logic and argumentation. Yes. He's very open-minded. Um, and when it comes to discussing specific things, he, he tries to see every perspective possible and analyze why it's there, you know? He doesn't just accept things, oh, this is this way because X. It's like, no, but maybe there's Y or maybe during it. And that's some high praise, honestly. I am trying. I am trying. That's good. I mean, frankly, I, I've gone through this experience before where Chris praises me. And wow, this is really idolizing Chris. But uh, that's not where I'm taking this. I'm taking this to like a whole, Chris, you know, would compliment me on something that, you know, maybe I've been trying to improve on. And I'll sit there and I'll think to myself what you just said, Danny, which is, but I'm just trying, you know, like I, this is not something yeah. I did through subconscious effort. This is something I'm doing through conscious effort. And that's the key right there. Mm. Like, you know, something I've learned, which as I've changed myself more, like so much throughout my life is you change yourself. You know, you, if you, let's say this, let's say uh, this is a very, uh, Change yourself. Do these not people? Do these people not sound like absolute goats? Bro, would it would it depress you if I told you that Adam is no longer a goat? He's been lost by the world. He's been dragged down just because he hasn't been around me right now. How long? It's since, okay. Since we're gonna that a year. We'll say so. we're year. we're gonna drag him back out, bro. Don't worry. He's gonna meet you. Look, show yeah. him how much progress you make in a month. You have the before picture. Show him how much progress you make in a month. Yeah. Show him. Look, I don't know why you what made you lose faith in Chris or give up in Chris or just like. Cause like he kind of just stopped. Like, that we, little, we like stopped communicating. That like, but like he just told me the other day that he loves me and he misses me. You know what I mean? But I've tried to reach out to him a couple times. He just didn't open up. You know? I don't know. He's mm. probably going through some real rough yeah. shit or whatever. But it's okay, bro. We're, we're gonna get him back. All you motherfuckers too. All right. Live how you like to live. Okay. Live up to your truth. Okay. Listen. If you have a gambling problem, just admit that you have a gambling problem. But be smart about it, bro. Make a budget. You get me? $100 a month, I will go blow at the casino. You know why? Because with $100, if you're smart at the casino and you ball hard, you can make moves. You feel me? But what you do is you're disciplined about the fact that you only spend those $100 in the month. You don't go over that. That's what is the key to life is discipline. That, that's what gets you through this, this, this bullshit. Uh, physical example. But let's say you're overweight and you want to lose weight. You have to do that yourself. But on a mental example, let's say you look at someone that you think is ugly and you think to yourself, God, that person's ugly. And then if you ever catch yourself doing that and realize what a terrible thing it is, it's up to you to, to constantly catch that and to constantly realize that until you reach a point where you stop thinking that. You'll, you'll be dis come disgusted in yourself every time that crosses your mind. And that'll become consistent to a point where it stops. So yeah, as far as mental attitude goes, you have to change yourself. I'm Thanks. so wet, babe. Thanks. <laughs> yeah? Is that Thanks for the high praise, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so, mean, yeah. yeah just kind of the thing is, one of the important like... things that I established with Adam um, recently when I was helping him form his mold and, and shit was that, okay, I gave hold on, hold him a prize. Mm -hmm. I don't, I want to retake back what I said about mold. I don't like the form mold because it's restricting. Yeah, it's, it's it's more of it's more of it's more like I gave you a direction, and it's right, not even that I gave. Path. It's not even that I pointed. You. I just said, "Yo, fucking move in a direction, Adam." Like you're sitting still, go right. That's all. Basically, what I did. Um, and yeah, here's the look, thing: is that it's uh, uh, anybody that's watching the stream right now. Okay, you have no excuses. Go download this app called Habitica. All right, I just made this motherfucker do it. You haven't used it long enough to really say much about it, but you've seen how fucking useful it could be. You feel me? If you dedicate yourself to it, like you see how you all the dailies help you just check shit off, you know? Organize your motherfucking life with that app. Boom. Very important. Shout out to Bitica, my fucking sponsor. Just kidding. I don't have one. To give some praise when it's warranted, right? But at the same time, the amount of times Adam said, I love you, I hate you, right? 
That, yo, I get that phrase the most. I get that phrase the most from all of my friends, like my close, close friends. The phrase, I love you, I hate you, is literally the worst shit. Because I called him. It's shit, funny, though. It's right? funny. Though. <laughs> was incredibly high. And that's something very important. Oh, we just jumped it's that Sometimes you need the voice of reason next there to you go. to just slap you in the face when you're doing something, let's say, unreasonable. or. What did I do in that room with you and Miguel? What I, was I? I was the voice of reason. Put us on the spot. Made us work through that shit. What did, what did we do? How many miles did you run today? I ran three miles today, nonstop. My usual is half a mile, a little break, and another half a mile. So you ran three. T you ran technically six times more than you've ever run unbroken because you run a half mile. You feel me? Yep. And non -stop. you ran three nonstop. Nonstop past that forty percent that your brain tells you. On no sleep at like six in the morning. What, what no did I show sleep. you then? On no if sleep. you got eight hours, we could have gone the six miles, oh, bitch. If we, we got eight miles, if we got eight hours, we could have gone, gone, gone that. Fucking most definitely could have gone miles. That. You guys can do it too, all right? I mean, if you have any like problems with your legs or like knee issues, obviously, but do recuperative exercises. Don't make an excuse. Don't make an don't have an injury be an excuse for not working out, all right? You've seen those motherfuckers in wheelchairs that are jacked as shit because they do handstand push-ups. Okay, if they can do it, so can you. You can make a workaround. Everybody just wants to make an excuse for, "Oh, I have this problem. I have that problem, whatever." Fuck that shit. You know what your problem is? You. You know what your problem is? You. I'll say it one more time. You know what your problem is? You. Everything that is happening in your life, okay, while, yes, a lot of it is random fucking chaos, a lot of it is bullshit, a lot of it feels like, and I'm gonna use this reference one more time, it always feels like you're playing a fucking video game, you smash the fucking ultimate combo that you've been working months, years, decades to achieve this ultimate fucking combo, okay, da 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 da, -da. and when you f press the final fucking button to do the fucking combo, okay, Instead of your fucking character doing this ultimate fucking move, all right, your Xbox blows up, all right? Yeah. There are many times in life that life just feels that way. I completely understand you, okay? But let me tell you that if you don't push the buttons for your ultimate move, right, your character's gonna die, all right? Your character's gonna go through a rough time, okay? But if you keep trying to smash that ultimate move and you keep doing it, maybe the first time your Xbox blows up, but the second time you do it, your Xbox doesn't blow up, and you fuck that other dude into out of this planet. You feel me? So you gotta understand, the best thing you can do is take care of yourself. Look, you know in a plane, right? They tell you, do not put your oxygen mask on your kids first. Why? Why, you Don? Why do you think they tell you to do that? Why, do, why can't you put your oxygen mask on a kid before yourself? Um. He doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. An oxygen mask, you know, the little procedure to get them things started. Right? But there's a step beyond that. That's the surface level reason. They don't know how to do it, so you gotta help them, right? Okay. But it's also because. But they tell you not to put it onto your kid. You get me? Before you put it on yourself. Why would they tell you not to put it on your kid first? Why did they tell you to put the mask on yourself first? Oh, I had heard you right. I mean, sorry, sorry. Wrong. Wrong. Yeah, yeah, you got it, you got it. Um yourself why why would they tell you put the mask on yourself first before you put the mask I, on the kid i actually don't know i actually would not know well think try okay let's let's think about this Enough. logically right why do you need to put on the mask to breathe why though what something's clearly happening in the plane there's a hole in the plane it's on fire whatever something's going down you need the mask to breathe right correct so that means you're in an environment that you can't breathe all would right. you consider that dangerous? Very. Do you think people would be panicking in a plane? If it's going down that way, you... People would be panicking, right? Yeah. So, do you imagine that if you were an 8-year-old child, do you think you could put your own mask on? Probably not, right? 6-year-old child, 4-year-old child, you're not putting your own mask on, right? Definitely. But another thing is, wouldn't you say that's a dangerous environment? A, a closed area, right? A plane probably that is crashing or going down. Closed right. area. Full of people that are fucking freaking out, right? Mm -hmm. Dangerous, yeah? Very. And because you need the oxygen, you need the mask because you need oxygen, meaning there is no oxygen in the cabin, in the plane. Correct. So you're in an environment with no oxygen. You're floating through space essentially to a degree, right? Like you don't have oxygen in that environment, right? You're just in the wild, you know? You cannot breathe. It's like you're underwater, bro. Right. Dangerous. So 
why would I not put my mask on my kid first? Because if I put my mask on my kid, right, and then I pass out due to lack of oxygen, my mm -hmm. kid can't put the mask on me, right? Not but good. if I put the mask on myself, right, then this tell. kid that fucking just drops, let's say, let's say my kid drops from exhaustion or from lack of oxygen, right? I can put the mask on him, he's still gonna be okay, you know what I mean? It's like two, three minutes of no oxygen where you start to lose brain cells, and then like five, six minutes until you're probably gonna be in a vegetative state, and then I think it's like 10 plus minutes or something, and then, and then you're brain dead or whatever. You know what I mean, there's like a certain level of like oxygen deprivations, but so for like 10 seconds while you just quickly put on their mask, they're not gonna, that's not gonna hurt them at all, you know? It's like holding definitely, your breath, definitely. no big deal. So. Why did I bring this up? Why did I tell you about this? Because in life, it's the same fucking way you done. You've been making mistakes in your life till now, and, and I've called right. you out a little bit. I'll call you out again. Take care of yourself first. Correct. Do you have your own place? Um, yeah. Do you have your own car? Okay, are you 100% financially supporting yourself? Like, in every facet, every degree? Um, One billion percent. There's not a single thing that anybody um, else takes care of for um, you? Um, my dad, my dad, my dad. There you go, Dinner. right? Okay. When you get, when you click all three of those boxes, you have your own place and you, you 1 billion percent financially support yourself, you feel me? And you're able to be honest and truthful with yourself, you get me? And take care of yourself. That's when you start taking care of others, you feel me? That's when you have the ability to really take care of others, you feel me? Because right. you're in a position, I'm in a position to, to, to help you, right? Because I've built up this position where I can help you, right? But without my own hard work to build myself up to this position, I wouldn't be in a position to help you. You know what Definitely. I mean? I would be somebody sitting next to you in the same position as you, like, fuck. Trying to know? help themselves. At the end of the day, we're on the same boat. We are in the same position. We're on this earth, right? And we're fighting to be ourselves more than we are allowed to a lot of the time. You feel me? That's how, that is, I feel your goal is freedom. You know I mean? At the end of the day, what you want most is to be free. What you want most is to be able to be this you, Don, that, that you've been like the past four or five hours. But always, you know? At like I feel times. like when you look at how I live, talk to people, like I'm just me. You're like, fuck, I want to do that too, you know? <laughs> but you know that a lot of the people around you wouldn't take that or handle that. You yeah, feel right? not everyone So you have to handle. mask yourself kind of to a degree, right? No one can handle someone, any. Not many people can handle the truth, I'll put it that way. Yeah. Uh, not. Yo, you wanna put, you wanna get headphones, put that in? Yeah, bro. Grab, grab some kind of thing to play with. Probably the other, the white ones, bro. Where are they? I don't know, over there in the, in the gym room or something. Sorry, what were you saying? Oof. Something about genuine people? Uh, people can't handle genuine not people. Not many people can handle. Oh, wait, shit. Oh. And, well, there's like nothing but truthfulness in everything you've told us well us being me and miguel and i i, I can't i can't really disagree with anything you told told us in the last couple of hours so it, doing that 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 won't it, it'll get you so far in life because then you'll eventually hit that dent where you meet that person that does not like hearing the truth and they will shit on you it is the worst. Um, all right, let's let's see what what we're talking about next. We're not progressing you towards your better state as a human being. So, an example is when Adam went on his road trip. He told me he wasn't working out because they were busy all day, and I just told him to stop being a bitch and wake up thirty minutes earlier than his friend who was on the road trip with him, and to do it then. And he was like, "God damn it, you're right. I have no excuse." And then that was that. You know, boom. I established a relationship with another human being where we both agreed, okay, we're just going to be honest to each other, no matter how brutal the honesty is. Because at the end of the day, honesty and trust and the reality of life is the only thing you can rely on, aside from yourself and your own mind, right? Which sometimes you can't rely on. So you can communicate a lot more effectively that way with people because you can just cut straight to the chase. You don't have to play some sort of social game. You don't have to do a fucking mating dance. You know, I don't have to like do this. And they'll be like, yo, you don't, like, can you give me a glass of water, please? No, I don't have to fucking do that when I communicate with him, you know? I don't even have to say please with him. I just had a conversation with him earlier that although I, I'll say please a lot of the time, like, when I, when I genuinely feel it and I'll be appreciative, that between friends, like, close, close friends, I just have the understanding. Look, we're, we're homies. We're, we're brothers. We're friends to the, we to the umpteenth we, degree. 
you don't need to be like, you don't need to say please and thank you every five seconds that we're doing things. Otherwise, we're going to be saying please and thank you every five seconds that we're exchanging words or talking or doing anything. The majority anything, you know? of everything we say, so it'll so, be a thank you in there. That was the case. <laughs> so that's it, you know? It's just, I don't know. And I feel like if more people live this way, we could actually do something about the world. Is that, that's my real thought about it, is that, like, forget our, my, our plan, okay? Our plan will stay secret. We'll see, we'll see how far we can take our plan. But aside from our plan, like, I honestly think that if more people got to this mentality and more people realized, like, shit, life could be like this forever. Like, think, okay, I want you to think that you motherfuckers, if you motherfuckers met me when I was 18, like, you're 15, 14, advanced, you get me? And you meet me at 18, all right? Okay. Imagine where the fuck we would be right now. We'd be on a yacht. Are you kidding me? From 18, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Seven fucking seven years, bro. Years, yeah. Seven years. Seven years of, of being at that level of consciousness from that early of an age, bro. Whack. And the thing is, we could have been. But the education system is garbage. The U.S. education system is garbage. I think every education system is garbage, to be it's honest with you, fuck. because of the existence of Google and the internet. Google is the best teacher. Yeah. Google is school, okay. all right? All you got to do is Google shit. You'll Let learn anything that you need in life. All right, rant over. Let's see what, what, what the fuck I was saying next. Feel free, by the way, if you want me to pause to let me know. I'll, I'll, yeah. you, you said before in your introduction that something you wanted to do is help people find their own direction or find the meaning in their lives and yeah. to live well adam is one of these people that was receptive enough to where you pushed you yeah, I wouldn't walk up to a stranger and and do this no hell no lessons no 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 right if you now, walk there... up like like for instance if you see someone in a gym and they're working out with bad form you just can't walk up to them and say that's wrong you have to do it like this because they're you know especially in a gym like setting they'll be prideful about working out Yes. And it, you can't, but, it, but for instance, if you uh, talk you fit, to them, if so you talk I, to them, mm -hmm. well, hold on, if you talk to this person and if you invite them out and you get to know them and you start, you know, really, you know, getting closer to them and then you talk to them and say, listen, the reason I wanted to get to know you is to help you. I saw that you were working out incorrectly and I want you to become better at this. Then you'll, then, then you'll, you'll, you'll have a chance at sort of approach. Helping. Correct. They'll be more receptive to it because you have a relationship. So the only exception to that rule is when I used to actually work at a gym as a personal trainer, I would walk. Okay, really, guys, there is no exception to that rule. I, I, I don't listen to this version of myself, okay? Because this version of myself did not realize he used the word can't, all right? He used the word can't. Adam used the word can't. You can't just walk up to someone and tell them their form is bad. Bitch, I can do whatever the fuck I want, okay? Will I? That's a different question. I don't want to be a dickhead about it, you know what I mean? But if I, like, if I see someone really doing bad form, like about to literally break their back doing a deadlift, I will stop them. And I will tell them, like when I'm talking to them, I'll be like, hey, excuse me, yeah, could I stop you for a second? And I'll talk to them like, hey, like, how much of a background do you have in working out? And they'll be like, oh, like, you know, I've just been going here, there for a couple of years. Like, oh, so like, have you ever, how, where did you get this workout from? Oh, my friend, she just sent it to me. Have, have you ever talked to your friend about like form? Oh, um, not really, like, blah, blah. I'm like, all right, because no offense, but, like, your form is cataclysmically bad to the point that you're going to injure yourself. Why do I communicate like this? Because if anybody who's in the gym sees me when I'm pumped from a workout, walk up to them and give them advice, they're going to listen to me, especially if they've seen me lift in the gym. Because although I'm 165 pounds currently, on the chest fly machine in the gym, I max that shit out. I don't give a flying fuck. I max out... 40 to 50 percent of the gyms i mean uh machines in the ufit in the gym at 165 pounds so i go up to someone i give them fitness advice they listen all right why do i communicate like that because it communicates urgency it's like hey you will actually hurt yourself if you keep using this bad form that's why you got to be brutally honest brutal honesty allows people to change and it allows people to be themselves it allows you to be yourself walk up to people all the time and tell them, hey, good. Yeah. Like, do you want me to, and I, this, is, this is all about phrasing. So instead of saying, hey, you're doing that wrong, I would say, hey, would you like me to show you a way that you can get better results from that exercise? And then, it, because I phrased it in that way, they're more receptive and like wanting to say yes, because who the fuck doesn't want results? Well, the it's also, the this is also a great point to talk about merit. That too. Merit was a huge 
key to that in. Yeah, because I was a personal trainer and I worked at the gym, you know, so I obviously knew what I was talking about. Um, all right, so without further ado, I want to pass this on to Danny so that we can go through, we have the, well, first, I guess I'm going to quickly say, tell the origin story of this whoa, group. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't care what the I got origin it. story I, the I, story I think, I think I got it. And he wanted to believe it. Nuts. Okay, whatever. I was on the bus to work. And I got a text message from Chris that told me about this podcast. And we've been talking uh, fairly, fairly frequently, a lot more recently than we have in a long time. And he wanted to invite me onto this podcast to talk about his way of life, in a sense. His way of life and how he shares his ideas with others. And I thought, you know, great, good. If I find something wrong, I can try and help him fix it. It'll always be good to cross analyze these ideas. Yo, I'm gonna start mudding these podcasts. Well, we started again. talking about the idea before we ever got. You gonna join me, bro? Mud so this podcast. You can say whatever you want on a podcast, bro. A third party. Just, I mean, okay, hold up. Walk through this. You can't say a very that. specific subset of words well, that first I will tell you I that you can't kind of say. And aside from that, you can literally talk about anything the, you want. The origin, like but literally anything that you want. Explained it. You can expose all the secrets of the world on a podcast, and no one can stop you. The origin story I was gonna explain. It cannot be taken down. No one can stop you, bro. You can. We can just do whatever the hell we want, man. That's what the podcast is about. So it's a group. I, I, I don't want to call it a cult because cult has negative connotation. But now that I've thrown the word out there, it's kind of like a cult. You'll it's, it's more of a brotherhood, let's say. Um, but I don't want to exclude females. It's it's a humanhood. All right. And the name of it is called the Busa Riding God Kings. All right. I don't want Where that stemmed origin. from, some other day we'll get into it. But the idea is that perfect. Um, the people that are in this group, they're like a family. Everybody who is a Busa Riding God King is a brother or a sister to another Busa Riding God King, and that we all are trying to work together towards a relatively common goal, what, which is to create a nice, tightly knit family, while at the same time, all of us are individually working towards our own goals, right? And we help each other work towards our own goals. So, um, for example, I'm trying to go with, uh, what's it called? Um, I'm trying to become world champion. And so Adam will spar with me to help me train. World champion, world, world, he, yeah, world world champion, champion boxing. World. Sorry, world champion boxing. So Adam will spar with me to assist me in reaching that personal goal that I have. And if Adam has a, Adam had a personal goal of, okay, I want to get jacked. I, then, I actually have a personal goal, which I didn't have before, is to win a CrossFit competition. Perfect. So now Adam has the goal of winning a CrossFit competition. And I've been training him for the past two months or so, and I've um, I've created a workout plan for the remainder of my house arrest for him and I to follow and another friend. And so as he strives towards trying to win that CrossFit competition, I can help design the workouts since I have the personal training background. So the idea is that we all come from different backgrounds, we all have different skill sets, and that we combine those skill sets um, to help each other towards our individual goal, but also to kind of build a, a community, a family-like feeling. Um, and and so that's, that's the most important part, is a family. And this is something that Chris helped me realize, especially recently during a tough time with my, my born family, is the key to growing up and the key to growing old is to form a family and some, you know, literally that means get a wife or a husband or, you know, regardless of your partner and start a family with them. But it's more expansive than that. Truly, it means find the people you want to be close with, those friends who you trust, those friends who you want to trust, who you rely on as a pillar, those are your family, not, not, completely exclusively you know anyone who you want to include in this who you you feel you can trust to include in this is your family and that is in my eyes is the key to growing up it's that creating that group that community of people that that you surround yourself with completely and i think that it's very important um that when we create that community feel that family feel that we create a place that people can kind of belong to 
you know, because I feel like right now, especially due to social media and the kind of disarray that the world is in right now, especially in America, that there's a lot of people out there that are lost. They're depressed. They're anxious. They don't know what they're doing. And they're just kind of sitting still. And I kind of want to help give them a, a, a place to belong, but not without work. Here's the thing is like being a booster ride in God King doesn't come without massive amounts of personal effort striving towards it, you know? Um, it's not like we're just going to accept anyone right off the bat. And, and it's we, we the number one mentality we have is there's no us versus them, you know? Um, if you want to be one, you can. But there's obviously steps that you need to take because if we just go, okay, anybody can be a booster riding God King, they don't even need to have the desire to be one. They can just be one. Then then there's no value in being a, a booster riding God King. So there are some, let's say, like prerequisites, quote unquote, um, to get into the group. But once you're in... You know, that's like a family that you can rely on. And the idea is that we try to treat other people, like even the ones that are not in our family, as if they're inside of our family. Like we try to treat them with respect and dignity. Um, if people are, are mean or rude to us, we just kind of turn the other cheek, like, you know, whatever, and move along. I mean, um, it, it sounds like you're making these personal connections. And it's good that you make these personal connections with people outside of the group as well to try and invite them. But in order to be considered part of that group, you need to have some ideal or ideas about how you want to live your life and why living your life in that way is good, not only for you, but in, in general, so that other people can also pick up from your style of life and be part of that group. And I want to clarify a little bit. It's not, you know, Chris likened it to a cult, but I don't liken it to a cult at all because we're we're all right now even though we are all busas busa writing god kings we all live our own lives i am in college finishing my degree danny i don't even know anything about danny but uh, he is a brother you know that's it's a, that simple chris trusts him chris knew him chris met him and, and chris is introducing him and, and because of that that connection is made for me you know i trust chris therefore i trust danny but the important thing is I and Danny and Chris all have friends and family outside of the Busas that are still, you know, that I still love and hold dearly. Uh, but yeah, well, that's another point. You know, the, the ideal of the of being a Busa is also the weight of being a Busa. The, the things on our shoulders is our need to help others. When we see our friends who are struggling with with the things that we break out of, it is our, like almost our duty to then take, you know, charge and, and help them out of it, to earn their trust and, and, and assist them in the ways we can. And if we can't, we'll at least learn from it so that we can help others. But, you know, like Chris said, saying the word can't is wrong. It's not about can't, it's about, you know, I didn't in the moment. A woman hitting on cargo shorts is the, just pocket envy at its worst. I agree, actually. That's a very interesting conversation topic. I think that women need to buy men's clothing. And I honestly think men need to try on more women's clothing. That's my opinion of it. Some women's clothing is fire, bro. Yo, could you bring me that jacket from my closet real quick? The black one, you know, with the zipper and shit? One that we got from Goodwill. Thanks, bro. Bro, I'm gonna show you this jacket right now. I got it in the women's section of Goodwill. It was an extra large women's jacket, and it's like the most fire, one of the most fire vest jacket things I've ever had. Um, and I think that women always have problems losing their shit because they don't have pockets. And yeah, some women use purses, but other women are like, fuck purses. And the women that are like, fuck purses and don't have pockets, oh, those women are screwed. Those women are screwed. That's females? So, That's females? Females jacket, yeah. So, excuse me. <laughs> shit is gas. Shit looks fucking dope as shit. You can go fucking... It's gold. Pretty cool, bro. Drive a golden helicopter in that fucking vest. But, <laughs> but there's always another opportunity for that. But I'm, I'm getting off topic of topic. Of tropic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving the tropics. I'm getting off topic about my the the things I wanted to be concise about, which is 
you know, it's not a cult. It's not, it's just, it, it, some people can consider it a friend group, but it's, it's much more than that to us. It's a family. And it's like you said, Adam and I can implicitly trust and at least get along with, uh, with one another because we both are considered to be a part of this group. We, we both have qualities that Chris thinks would make us people who are able to respect each other just by virtue of knowing that, right? Correct. I also think that in, in an, like, it's almost as if, because uh, when Adam and I were talking recently, we spoke that we were at the vanguard of the Busas, meaning that we were at the head of the pack, let's say, that we are the ones that are directioning the Busas because every Busa is supposed to be in charge and directioning their own existence, meaning that towards their own personal I fucking fronts, I feel he has aspects and qualities. And put using the transparency amongst ourselves to amongst our to we yeah. we as as the people who are in front and trying to cut a path through the forest are are learning the mistakes firsthand and we're we're using the transparency amongst ourselves to to use each other as walls so by being honest with each other specifically amongst our uh, uh, this group here we are able to criticize and critique one another and, and learn from that. You know, the hardest part about a lot of professions, especially artistic professions, is taking critiques. No, and it's a skill. You. When you can take critiques, you, you can become so much better, so much more quickly because you're improving Damn, with other people's help. And that's the focus of this group, is to utilize each other as a wall to bounce off of it so we can get again. higher. Now, I can speak the skill. When you can take critique, you can become so much better so much more quickly because you're improving with other people's help. And that's the focus of this group is to utilize each other as a wall to bounce off of so we can get higher. Now, I can feel it in these things that we're talking about that we're going off topic because there are so many small things that, I mean, they're big, but there are so many things that we want I'm doing to touch right. on because we feel it. Uh, listening to the podcast right now, my old podcast, and commenting on it, having conversations about it. And we know it in a, to be true, right? That we want to talk about, but we are going all over the place, right? Yes, that's why, that's why, Massively. that's why for right now, I think this is okay, because this is like the origin story podcast, so they can kind of feel that we have some level of enthusiasm, and like, we actually give a shit about what we're talking about, you know? We're not Look, just talking about this, just let me just Let me just say, I do want... I do, I do want a discussion that starts from the moral value of this group and builds a foundation for people to understand where all these other things are coming from. A proper, well-formed discussion with an outline for everything, because well, that's going to be the don't best have way to try and convey it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, do you want okay, to pause okay, wait, and make an I got outline? No, 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 no. no I think I... it's fine. We just do this now, and we come back and revisit. Correct. I think, I think we can just continue with this podcast as it is and then the idea is let's say next week when we have let's say an episode two of this podcast well episode one really because it's like the prequel when we have the episode yeah, one of the podcast zero. episode yeah this is episode zero we have yeah, episode no, one of the like right now bro like right now just, yeah all, all we, three we, of us we literally my, have my friend my friend's gonna mutt it my friend's gonna be coming to do it bro. right and the very first step i guess it's gonna be the first live podcast motherfuckers on stream positive mentality let's talk about this once again hey so i think sit up straight is to finish off this podcast, Protein, we Since can touch good, on good, milk. one of the steps, right? Bread. We'll take a couple, if you don't do it, you won't accomplish it. Regardless of Adam's like involvement, like, okay. Not doing it yeah, you want to, you want to put a small bit of pre? I'm thinking like, a, I, like, dude, I'll, I'll share some woke with you. I mean, I'm not really tired, but I'm, uh, I'm not re I'm really either, but it's anyways, four, you feel me? I might still anyway, yeah. Let, let's go hit the sauna and stuff later, you know what I mean? Mm. I'm also kind of hungry, bro. Can you yeah, bring, can you bring me like a like a, a hue or some shit from the kitchen? This no, 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 bring, bring me like the one that's made in in the in my shaker bottle. Oh, it's, it's, it's like this, but not black. Uh, like this shaker bottle. Right, like this. Explain. Uh, the reper go to your anime OSTs. Enjoy, Peter. Enjoy. Percussions. Okay, so I'll I'll go. There's two. I'll go, there's two coin tokens to this. The you will go nowhere, and you will be seen as unreliable. So I'll go ahead and uh, you'll be seen as unreliable. 
And because you two are Busas, or, well, I guess technically Danny is not there yet, but I'm, you, you know what, uh, get on your knees, the sword, I'm knighting each side of your head, you're Busa, fantastic, let's move on. So now that you two are Busas, um, basically, because I am telling you that I'm going to do leg day after the podcast, if tomorrow you call me and you ask me, hey, did you do leg day after the podcast? I'm going to tell you yes, because that's exactly what I intend to do, and it's the truth. It develops a relationship of trust with the other boosters or with anybody that you tell anything. So if I tell someone, that's the part of uh, you'll be seen as unreliable slash you'll go nowhere. Part of not being busa when you say something and don't fulfill it is because if you don't fulfill it, then you're not being true to yourself, let's say, your own intention. Um, and you'll give an example. No, give an example okay, so of you saying you're going to do something and then seeing, seeing that you're not doing it and then explain the repercussions. Okay, so I'll I'll go. There's two. I'll, there's two co- tokens to this. The you will go nowhere and you will be seen as unreliable. So I'll go ahead and do an example for each. So in the you will go nowhere, right? Would be if I told someone that I wanted to gain muscle. So I told them from now on, I'm going to eat 3000 calories a day. And I tell Adam this, right? Um, Regardless of Adam's involvement, like, okay, sure. If Adam sees me in a year and I'm still the same size and I'm still the same weight, right? Then Adam might not inherently trust me when I say, Hey, I'm going to do X because now I've given him direct proof that, Hey, I said I was going to bulk up. I said I was going to eat 3000 calories a day and I clearly have not. Right. And that's part of the, that's part of the you'll see you will be seen as unreliable, right? Extremely but healthy. at the same I'm time, it's also it's part of you will go nowhere because if I don't eat the 3,000 calories H-U-E-L, a day, I will end up nowhere. I'm not going to fuck up if I don't eat 3,000 calories a day or higher than 3,000. It's time for my Huel sponsored ad. Huel, notice me. Huel, you're the best. All right, back to the point. That's not a sponsored ad. Fuck you, Huel. All right, so this shit. All right, you mix a scoop of powder, two scoops of powder, and water, or you can mix milk or almond milk or coconut milk, whatever the fuck substance you want. You just have to remember that this is 400 calories with just the powder. You can also get water or milk into it. Milk will add more calories. Coconut milk adds less. Are you doing this? No, I'm asking because I looked up feel right. There's like 50 billion ads here, too. So, this is a meal replacement. So, you notice the kind of consistency of this? Like, you notice the consistency of this? Mm-hmm. kind of tastes healthy, but like, it has substance. Yeah. Like, you could not mutt this very easily. Like, you're gonna get halfway through, like, you start feeling full, you know? You cannot mutt this. This, this really <laughs> makes you feel satisfied, you though. Can. Now, the thing is that this is 400 calories, and it satisfies your body's need for physical stuff because you felt the consistency, right? Yeah. You're getting a lot of physical things. So your body has to digest some stuff because you can't just drink down these bitches because although, yes, there's a little bit of like physicalness to them because of the ingredients, you can't just be on a liquid diet, unfortunately. Your body needs to digest physical food. Fortunately, this counts, right? Mm -hmm. Now, what I do is I drink one of these, right? Sorry, I drink two of these, okay? That's 400 calories each, 800 calories. If I do milk, it's a little more. Along top of that, okay, I, I sometimes drink this as a snack. It's 400 calories, so this covers one of the snacks. Remember, you have to eat 3,000 calories. That shit's hard if you don't have things like this. This is easy to mutt one 400 calories, no big deal. 400 calories of chicken? 400 fucking calories of chicken? Holy shit, I'm gonna Google this right now. Speaking of- do you know how much fucking chicken that is? Fuck this stream. I don't care anymore about the season one episode. We're talking about chicken in this bitch. I was gonna ask, um, did you add on um, the 400 calories of that to... Look, one pound of fucking chicken. Three... Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. One cup. I got... I freaked out there. Like, holy shit. Alright. Okay. Ne- what? what the fuck? I'm still freaking out. 425 calories for a pound of chicken. Now, it's the, a pound of chicken, you feel me? And then they cut away the stuff. So it's like probably a half pound, maybe a third of a pound, about 425 calories, right? What can I check? Oh, hit the plus, and then food. 
And you put, put whatever you want. No, be better. I mean, like, where can I check what I've already looked? Do you already um, Oh here diary. Oh. So you okay. put you put your breakfast of three eighty, you feel me? So what I recommend is is you do you go to here to your diary. Sorry, here in your home, I mean. Click the plus. Click food. Whatever it doesn't really matter. You Snack. can put put everything under snacks, it Snack, really doesn't matter. I wanted to add the yeah, so add you can just do quick add and then put four hundred. Now you wanna know something that's nuts? I wonder if it recognizes Huel. Does it have barcode? It has a barcode. All right, we're gonna see some magic happen if this shit hap works. Barcode. Tell me it's not just for the pro members. Allow. Oh shit. No fucking way. Shut up. It's no there. Boom. Way. Get bodied. <laughs> I just fucking scanned the barcode on the stream, and this fucking app found it. Four hundred calories has okay. the entire nutrition profile. Forty-one grams of carbs. 41 grams of carbs, 19 grams of fat, 19 grams of fat, 20 grams of protein, 20 grams of motherfucking protein. Boom. Model. Now, uh -huh. you can also test yourself out. You want to try, okay? You want to try. How much do you weigh again? 150? 148. Yeah, so we're, 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 we're going to try to go for 180, okay? 180, well, 180 185 is what we're going to get aim your weight at. So you want to eat approximately 180 to 185 grams of protein per day. Hmm. If you're a little bit under, no big deal. If you're a little bit over, no big deal. If you're a lot under, a lot over, big deal. If you're a lot under, your muscle won't grow. If you're a lot over, protein turns to fat. Okay? But you, you want to basically eat as much as your body weight, at least, to maintain your muscle. So if you want to bulk up, you need to eat a little bit more than your body weight. So in this case, we're eating how much you want your body to be. You want your body to be 185? Eat like you're 185 now. Feel me? And, do -do 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 -do, and you go up. Feel me? Oops. But the thing is that you have to understand muscle grows slowly. You gain about two to three pounds a month. Now, the first month, first two months, if you actually are boost as fuck and follow everything perfectly, you can gain a lot more because of beginner gains. You can gain five pounds, maybe six pounds the first month, you know, like really like holy shit, like boom, you're bulked up, like pfft, right? But you really have to go hard. See, I'm telling you, I'm gonna keep repeating to you, you have to eat more, man, still. You really have to go ham. This is what this is for. Making sure you eat the right amount of calories. Right? So this we added in, we just scanned the barcode. Boom. So you have 2,110 remaining if this is all you've eaten. You can put whatever. Alright. Sorry about that, guys. Chicken. Eat it. It's good for you. Alright, end of the stream. I'm going to start a podcast episode soon. I'll be back in, I don't know, 5 10 minutes. Yeah, like five, ten minutes. I need to get some water, get shit set up. And yeah, thanks for tuning in. In case some of you don't come back to the live stream of the podcast.